G'day and welcome back to another Gaffs walkthrough. Today we're looking at November 12th, 2024's Thermo by Clover. Clover's one of us, those who are guest host views online. My name is Bill Murphy, and if you wanted to know, how can I, and by I, I don't just mean me, but you, solve a Sudoku in less than 60 seconds? Um, because I haven't tried it, but I know something about today's Sudoku that may not be apparent at first glance. Um, so I'm going to try and uh, pull a little cheeky something something at the end of this uh, proper solve, proper walkthrough, um, and see if I can solve today's gas in less than 60 seconds. Um, you'll have to stay around for that. Uh, we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the girl reading this. Uh, boys can be girls too. Um, you will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Now, we've done it a billion times, but let's talk about it. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits 1 to 9 once each. And in the grid, we have thermometers. Um... Digits along thermometers must increase uh, starting from the bulb. That's it. That's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. So that being said, let's get into it. Uh, just restart it because this is not going to be a this is not going to be a long one. So less than three with two slots must be uh, two and one. Between three and five is a four. Uh, this can either be six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. In here we have a five. Uh, we know that we need to place a 1, 3, 7, and 9, but 3 can't go on one of those, so 3 has to go there. The 4, 2 is a 1, leaving a 7 and a 9 in here. Uh, this can either uh, this can only be 1 or 2, so it must be 2. This 2 over here means that this must be 3. Uh, and we still don't quite know what that is, but we're going to know in a second when I get down here. Uh, this is a 6, uh, this is now 8 and 9, which is going to clean up uh, this one and this one. Now, uh, this can only be as low as 3, 4, so that's what it is. Now, uh, in this one, what do we have? Uh, so, this cell sees 1, 2, 3, and 4, and it's 5 digits long, so it must be 5 is the lowest that it can be, so that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, over here, this cell sees those, that 8 and 9, that 7 and that 6. So, this has to be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, this is a 1, 9 pair, but I can't do anything with that. That is an 8. Oh, yeah. That's all the variants that are actually done, which is really nice. Uh, this is 9 and 1. And this is uh, oh, yeah, 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 1 and 2. Uh, 9 can't go at the end of this one, so that's 8 and a 9. Uh, 1 and 2 can't go in these two cells, so this is a 1-2 pair. This is 3-4-5. And then this is uh, 3 and 4, but we have the 3 down there, which is going to resolve that for us. 1 can't go in that cell, so that's 2, that's 1. Uh, if you are seeing the pattern already, well done. I love that for you, um, but I'll point it out to people who don't know. Um, in a second, uh, six and seven, uh, that two and one is going to clean up a bit. Uh, one can't go in that cell, so that is nine and then one. Uh, seven, eight, nine, triple over here, uh, meaning this is seven, eight, nine up here. Uh, not, we commonly refer to that as roping. Um, I can't make the joke that pops into my head every time I see the word roping, uh, see the word roping up here in Sudoku. Two and one, see this cell, so that's three, one, two. Uh, six, six, five over here, so that's four, and then five, six pair. Six over here resolves that for us. Uh, this is three, four, five. Uh, and then this is two, three, four. We can do all of that. Uh, I'm trying to pretend like I don't know what the pattern is, because I'm going to save it for the end of this. Uh, so there you go. Um, that's eight, that's seven, and that's six. So, yeah, that's that's a really, really quick one. And that's the logical way to do it. And I did that in three minutes and eight seconds. Um, but 
uh, just to show you a little, if you look at every single row in this grid, um, they're all just one to nine. And they're just one to nine, but they start from a particular point. So that's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, uh, one, one to nine, one, two, three, four, nine, just the whole way. So, um, if you haven't seen this before, um, I did one before for this. Um, oh, I'll, I'll link to it in the description. I have done one of these for gas before, um, but it's a grid where it's just one to nine. Um, you can do this very, you can do this several ways with thermometers, uh, killer snow who skyscrapers, hell, I did with X sums yesterday, uh, yeah, actually yesterday is a joke, um, or the day before, um, where it's just this grid. So knowing what I know about this grid, um, and being able to do this logically, let's see how fast I can do this grid. So I'm going to restart. I'm not going to keep my time now. Uh, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, four, five, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Uh, seven, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this is six, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Up here is one, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, where does one, four, four, oh God. Uh, this is still five, six, seven, eight, nine. That logic is still available to me. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, where's one go here? It's gonna go nine. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, there we go. That's today's gas in 49 seconds. And that was slow. I needed, uh, I needed to do a little bit more for that, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, that is uh, today's gas uh, done twice in like five minutes. Uh, so yeah, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will catch you next time. Bye.